Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Uh, try to do one good video for you a week. Um, it is April uh, 13th, 2019. Um, it is COVID operation. <laughs> so you guys are probably will remember this day. We're five weeks into it, unfortunately. Um, I'm home on the weekend trying to move the shed. I thought I would try to show you guys. Uh, so if my SEO guys watching, just talk about moving a shed. Um, this is not that heavy, but it's awkward. It is still heavy for five people. Uh, it's from Costco. We built it about three years ago, um, but our concrete is finally turning into Mariana Trench. So we're going to chip all this out here. I'll do a video on that here in a month. But today I want to show you how to get it out and up. You can use shovels to lift it up and then shove conduits underneath. Those are two inch. I have a lot of that for work. And I just rolled it, but I used my car jack in the center. And then I used two of my old RV jacks because I owned a, a, a hybrid Rue years ago. And I kept those. And so I used a, a two by six on that side. This side didn't even need it. Um, you can see how much mud it got under there and spiders. Once I have it up, I'm hoping we can roll this under and then we can push on top. I don't know how well this will steer, but we're trying to get it and put it here. Now this is some wood. I put blocks and some wood here and a step. I'm going to use this um, wood over here, this pine tongue and groove to make corners and I'll show you when I'm done but I put um, some paper that I had left over from my roof um, I just got my chicken shed done I'll show you that here in a little bit so this video is just focusing on how to move a shed without killing yourself or breaking it um, cross your fingers I think this should work well last time we had to get up on that lip from the grass was tricky but this time it's a little higher so that we will be able to lift it up all right, guys, thanks for joining us.